Guys, the burst strategy should be spelled like that. Y'all ain't repeating. If you're the burst strategy investor, tell me how many bird deals you've done in one year by repeating. It doesn't happen. Yo, why don't I like the burst strategy? Well, the reality is I have used the burst strategy probably more times than most people that claim to be the burr, like masters have ever used the burst strategy. I don't like it. And I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it, why I like other things better. We're gonna go through a whole entire list today. Well, first and foremost, let's start here. Okay, most people spell burr incorrectly. What is the burst strategy? Well, burr stands for buy. Okay, so I'm gonna buy a property. R stands for renovate. Okay, I'm gonna buy the property, I'm gonna renovate it, I'm then going to rent it, and then I'm going to refinance, okay? Now, the fourth R is supposed to be for repeat, but I would say most, if not all, of the burst strategy investors I've ever spoken to have a really hard time with the repeat part because their money gets tied up in the deal. That is the biggest reason why I don't like the burst strategy, how much money it actually requires to do one deal. And the time frame associated with the average burst deal is six to nine months. I don't love that. It's slow, it's lethargic, and most people are not trying to buy one rental every two to three years while using their W-2. Guys, the burst strategy should be spelled like that. Y'all ain't repeating. Y'all ain't repeating. If you're the burst strategy investor, tell me how many bird deals you've done in one year by repeating. It doesn't happen. It's very, very rare. So let's talk about the other reasons why I don't love the burst strategy. Number one, it's not timeless it dies. So in 2022 through 2020, I'd say 2025, the birth strategy is all but dead. Most real estate investors that are using the birth strategy died. Why? Because they rely on banks. They rely on banks. I have not used a bank in the last 2,000 doors we've put in our portfolio. Yes, we are the creative finance people. Our sub two community dominates. We do more creative finance deals than anybody else in the nation. We overwhelm title companies while everybody else is asleep on the sidelines saying, we're waiting until interest rates come down. We're creating our own interest rates direct to seller. We're working and taking over existing payments. We're working on seller finance. So the seller gives us 0% interest on a lot of our deals. We don't rely on banks for any of our, even the house that I live in right now did not rely on a bank. I took over an existing payment and the seller gave me seller finance at 0% interest. You can't do that in the birth strategy. So it's not timeless. What happens is I don't want to go and focus on a strategy that dies every couple of years. And then I'm reliant on other human beings to get that deal done, okay? Big one right here, credit, credit, credit. We don't use credit in subject to and seller finance. I have never pulled my credit on a single deal that I have ever done with creative finance. Not one time. Guess what's happening when you are doing the burst strategy? In the burst strategy, you are pulling your credit right here to buy the property. You are pulling your credit again on refinance. You're getting two different loans on the burst strategy. You buy it and then you refinance it. What happens when you buy it today and interest rates are 6.5 and you're assuming by the time you refinance six months later that your interest rate's still gonna be 6.5, but interest rates have gone up to 7.25 and it kills the cash flow. Holy moly. That is truly why the burst strategy is super ineffective and super inefficient. Does it work? Yes. Have we done probably, I, I would say by the amount of burrs that we've done, I'd say we've done probably about 50. I don't love them. I've done more than most people that are burr strategy people and written books on burr strategy have done burr, okay? I don't love them because of these two things alone. I could just end the video right now, but I got a lot more to share with you. Guess what we don't use in, in creative finance? Credit. This one's a big one for me. I did a recording where a lender says to me, okay, this is such a lie. They'll go, okay, Pace, we're gonna give you 70% LTV. Oh no, I'm sorry, it was 80%. It says, we're gonna give you 80% LTV on your refinance and all you have to do is have 20% of the deal. But when I actually went to do the loan, it was more like 74% LTV and I had to bring 26% to the table. I'm like, man, that's, okay, I get it. I get that things change, but why not use a strategy that that doesn't happen? In creative finance, I don't rely on lenders. This is a loan broker. I have a whole email chain with him. The lenders will lie to you to get their business. They're, they're brokers, that's all they are. They're brokering a loan to another financial institution and they're gonna lie to you and they're gonna say, I'll give you an 80-20 loan. Right now, especially in 2024, 2025, they're not giving anybody 80-20 loans. They're giving like 70, 65 LT, 65% LTV loans. Lenders will lie to you and they'll give you a term sheet and then when it comes down to actually doing the loan, everything changes. Okay, 
Non-reliable, boom, this is really hard. Again, kind of goes back to this, but more importantly, the thing that's not reliable is by the day that I buy the property and by the time I am having to refinance and that loan that I refinance into has to be a certain interest rate or it kills the entire deal. Guys, I've already bought the property. I've got hard money on it. I'm hemorrhaging money. My contractors probably ran off with my money 18 times. Oh my gosh, the tenant took forever. I finally got somebody in there and I'm finally gonna get somebody to um, live in the property and pay the rent so I can refinance the property and interest rates change and it kills the entire deal that I already own and I'm stuck in and I can't do anything with. Okay, non-reliable. That doesn't happen in creative finance, neither one of these. If I take over somebody's 2% loan, 3% loan, 4% loan, or a seller finance deal at 0%, that's my interest rate forever. I don't have to fight with anybody. It's that, it never changes, okay? Down payment, this one's big, goes right back into this right here. People will change the down payment on you. The worst part about the burst strategy with the down payment is it needs to be sourced from you or from um, somebody close to you. Guess what I can't do in the burst strategy. If I'm going to go do a refinance and I'm getting a, a, a loan, I can't go borrow money from somebody in second lien position. I can't do that in a birth strategy loan. In creative finance, I can. Nobody cares. The seller and the sub two deal do not care where the money comes from. So down payment is a, mass, a massive issue in the birth strategy of how it gets sourced and making sure that it actually is in your bank account. It's been seasoned. Does not happen in creative finance. Here's another one. W2. Guess what I have to have when I'm doing the birth strategy? They want to see your W2. They they want to see your job history. Guys, I'm unemployable. People would not hire me. I suck. There's a lot of entrepreneurs out there like, dude, I wish I could do the birth strategy, but every time I go get a loan and do a refinance, they want to see my W-2 and they want to see my job history. Guys, I'm unemployed. I have no job. I don't need a W-2 to do a sub-2 deal. In fact, my credit could be absolute dog and I could still do a, a sub-2 deal as easy as somebody who has a 740 credit score. By the way, do you want to know what my credit score is? Ryan Cox, my from my family office, he says, hey, what do you think is your credit score? I go, I don't know, 6, 650? He pulled it and came back and he says, your credit score is a 758. Boom. Guess what? I'll never use it. I'm sorry, I will use it. When I go do refinances on my properties years down the road and I suck out the equity, of course I do it. But I wait. I have this amazing ability to hold on to a sub two or a seller finance loan as long as I possibly can. And then I refinance when it's appropriate. In the burst strategy, I'm forced to refinance because I have a hard money loan when I bought the property. Ugh, it's horrible. Tax returns. Well, that's not fun. It's not a fun situation to be in is to have to show your tax returns. I don't show tax returns to any financial in institution to buy the properties that I currently own. For business owners like me, tax returns are incredibly complicated. We have multiple people that work on them all year round. We always extend from April until the end of the year. Every single year we extend. Every business owner always extends your, their taxes because they're always late, always, always late. Guess what? Do you know how much money I made on my tax returns this year? In 2023, how much money did I make? What is my, what do my, what is my income show for 2023? All of my companies combined, how much money did I make personally? Zero dollars. I made zero dollars. Do you think I'm gonna show my tax returns to a bank? Absolutely freaking not. So no, I don't like tax returns. Okay, so tax returns. I don't wanna feel like I'm imprisoned to have to like buy one property that I can't refinance all my money out of. I don't like having to be in this situation. Big one here, multiple loans. I don't just go and do a, a, like when I do a sub two deal, I do, I take over a payment, it takes me three days. I used to be a loan officer. You know what I used to tell all my clients? I'm like, oh man, my freaking underwriter, they need more information. Let's just make a fake letter that is, I didn't say that, but I did all the time. And all the loan officers in my office did too. They would coach their clients on how to make fake letters to satisfy what the underwriter wanted. It's a whole game of cat and mouse the whole entire time. You know it's true. And if you're a loan officer, you've done it too. I can guarantee you've done it. Multiple loans, it sucks. Nobody wants to do that. Why are we doing this? Oh my gosh, there's 13,000 listings on landwatch.com right now. 13,000 seller finance listings on landwatch.com, on Crexy, LoopNet, and other places. There's another 20,000 listings right now on seller finance listed. Why are you guys going out and getting loans at commercial banks with people who are, you are begging for their money? Okay, this is a big one, I'm so sorry. If you are a Burr investor, most, okay? Somebody, one of my friends is probably gonna be like, dude, I'm I'm a Burr investor, are you calling me lazy? Here's what I mean by that. They're lazy, they don't know act actually how to find deals. Most Burr investors are just going through agents. They're going on market. Who is buying deals on market 
Like what real estate investor is buying a deal on market in single family? We're going off market. We're working sellers directly and we're getting good deals, okay? I know I talk a lot about buying houses with no equity, but the reality is we are buying a lot of houses with equity, especially in seller finance, but our interest rates half of what you guys are getting them at at full retail. You guys are going with agents on market. You're being lazy. You don't know how to actually find deals. And so most of the Burr investors that I know, they're not cash flowing at all. They're breaking even and they have high interest rates and they are are doing maybe one, maybe two deals a year if they're really, really lucky. Creative finance dominates because I don't need agents. I don't need, we teach people how to go find the deals. I don't need multiple loans. I don't need tax returns. I don't need W-2, down payment. They are, it's super reliable. When I get take over 3%, it's a 3% in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Lenders lie, guess what? I don't have to talk to lenders. Nobody pulls credit. And no matter what is going on in the economy, seller finance and subject to always are dominating. They're always uh, applicable for you to go out and go th get those deals right now. Up, down, left to right market. Anybody wonder why I hate the, the birth strategy? Have we satisfied this question? So if you're in my DMs right now saying, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, here's what I'll do for you. If you guys wanna find a really great place to get leads for your sub two business, I'll give you an expired listing training, okay? Go down below and we'll give you expired listing training to show you exactly how to go find expired listings. Don't be a lazy burr investor that's just going through agents and doing on-market deals. Learn how to find off-market deals that agents got fired from expired listings. We'll make a link down below. Click that and on your way, click the su subscribe button. I think it's like 90% of people that watch the channel don't subscribe. Guys, give us some freaking love. Come on, we're trying to get to 300,000 subscribers. We'll see you in the next video.